We just got our first Mastercraft weapon in Modern Warfare 3. This coming in the Tracer Pack Echo Endo Elastic Entropy Mastercraft Bundle. What a mouthful. This comes with the Cybercat Jet Operator Skin, which says it comes with a stick and move finishing move. We'll explain what that is in just a second. Then we've got the Mastercraft itself, the Sweet Siren having VWV Tracers and Kawaii Endo Dismemberment effects. Here's a little bit of sneak preview of what this is. So a Mastercraft has a unique inspect. So when we take it in game and inspect it, it should be pretty crazy. We're going to try it in multiplayer, zombies, third person, see what happens when other people inspect it and we're even going to pack a punch it it also comes with an mcw blueprint that has tracers a hogger 28 blueprint an emblem a calling card and a large decal this bundle costs 2800 cod points so it's a very expensive bundle and if you want to see any more bundle reviews like this in the future make sure to unlock that subscribe button the cybercat skins for jet and she's on the spec crew team okay those lasers are pretty noticeable here's the cybercat skin in game in a light environment you can still see the light up parts on the visor uh there's the cat ears there's the light up parts on the bottom of it then when we head towards the back, there's some light up tubes. The skin in a darker environment is going to give away your position a little bit because of the light up bits, but it's not as bad as some of the other operator skins. Some of the other skins in the game that light up give away your position a lot. This is just going to make it a tad bit easier for the enemies to see you. Okay, now let's get a finishing move with it. Ooh, Cybercat do a little bit of stabbing. Now for prone. Your luck's run out. We'll also try the down version. I live for moments like this. And stabbed up. So even though this bundle says it comes with a stick and move finishing move, that's just the finishing move that comes by default on a lot of the operators. So you don't have to buy this bundle. You probably have the stick and move finishing move without even buying this. So now let's take a look at the blueprints. And this bundle comes with three blueprints. Two of them are boring. One of them's a Mastercraft. Let's quickly look at the two boring ones just to get them out of the way because we're not going to spend a lot of time on this. This is the MCW here. Uh, no moving effects. Nothing going on with it. Comes with the scope. That's the, what the site looks like for it. Then we've got one for the Holger LMG variant. Looks almost identical to the MCW. Once again, no sort of glowing or moving parts on it. Well, maybe they glow. Let's take it in a dark room. Nope, definitely no glowing parts on these blueprints whatsoever, but they do have tracer effects. So let's see what the tracer effects look like on the... Oh, wow. Look at the muzzle flash. What? I didn't expect that. It plays notes when you shoot. Okay, I'm kind of sorry I called these basic. They might look basic, but the tracers they have on them are pretty sick. So it adds the muzzle flash, and then it also plays like a musical note when you shoot. And there's multiple different. Does the Hulk do the same thing? This is what the impact effects look like. So it's a little anime cartoon explosion, and it leaves a star wherever you shoot. So, um... Very noticeable impact effects. And if you're spamming it, you're definitely going to see these. Take it in a darker environment. And do this, the, the tracers and the sound effects, it is all just so goofy on these weapons. Look at that. Took off the scope so we can check out the iron sights. The MCW looks pretty much the same, except there's some holes there. Then for the Holger LMG, there is now a face. So when you're ADSing with the iron sights on this, you'll get, you'll get a little cat face there. Now for the fun part, let's test out the death effects on these weapons. So if you kill an enemy... Oh, there's a full-on gif that plays on the ground when you kill them. A and they... They explode into sparkles. Uh, you're not gonna miss that. You you're not... You're not gonna miss that. There's... Is the gif any different? The death effect, I think, is the same for both weapons, but, uh... You know, th this, this might get a little bit annoying on smaller maps. It is just an explosion of sparkles, and then there's a GIF on the ground. Real quick, here's what the mastery camos look like on these blueprints. I'm not going to load them in game because I don't want this video to be crazy long, but you can still see a little bit of stuff. For some reason, the icons kind of black out when it's on the MCW, but for the LMG, you were able to see them. Now it's time for the Mastercraft. Oh, cool. We get a one-handed out while we're driving into the map. So right off the bat, first impressions, these are pretty nutty for our first Mastercraft, and we haven't even inspected it yet. There's tubes on the back that are flowing with some sort of liquid and our gas uh there's custom laser sights and you know i thought that was gonna be a cat that looks more kind of devilish to me than a cat but uh yeah i think the tracers on this are the same as the other weapons but all right no farther ado let's go ahead and inspect our first mastercraft in modern warfare 3. Okay, so it plays a little anime video. Keep in mind, uh, I'm, I'm, I personally don't watch a lot of anime, 
So th that's kind of my point of view on it. It is an interesting Mastercraft. There's a lot going on with it. But, um, you know, could, could you tell this Mastercraft's catered to anime enjoyers? Let's, let's inspect it again. I've been told that there's different variations. Okay, so there's different music. There's there's different music for it. So again. <laughs> just jamming out. I think that's the one we got first time. I, I... <laughs> wow. So, yeah, there's three different versions. So, there's three different songs you can jam out to. But, uh, wh what happens if we take off the akimbo attachment? Hold on. Does the inspect still work if we take off the... All right, you know, we, we got to test. All right, enough jamming out. Go to loadout. We're going to take off the stock. Surely the inspect doesn't work when there's just one of them. Oh, and this reminds me of the FMG9 from Modern Warfare 3 with this site on it. And lo look, there's a, there's a custom ADS site. There's a little, little cat face on it. This is what one looks like. And if you inspect it... Nope. Okay. So if you want the Mastercraft inspect, you have to keep the akimbo attachment on. As soon as you take that off, um, this is your inspect. There's no more music. There's no more hot jams. None of that. It is um, it is just a single weapon with the lonely, depressing, non-anime inspect. Oh, the weapon lights up when you shoot it. This was hard to tell when it was akimbo, but if you look at it, not only do you hear the cat noises when you shoot and ping, it also has a little bit of a pink light up effect on the side of the gun for the muzzle flash on top of just an absolutely insane muzzle flash. Wait a minute, now we have two weapons to tap fire, so we get even more weird noises. Wait, can we all hear it? If we all tap fire, do we hear this? Okay, no, only you get to hear the weird cat noises when you shoot. When other people shoot, this is what it looks like, and they, there's too much cartoon smoke. Well, everyone sees the tracers if that's not a thing. <laughs> everyone gets to see the tracers. All right, now let's all inspect it. Okay, no. So only you get to see the anime screen. This is what the inspect looks like for other people. Yep, they just kind of look at the weapons. It's back to the default. So when you inspect the weapon, you get to see all the cool little moving stuff. You get to hear the jams of the music. You get to see the, <laughs> the little gift that appears. You get to jam out. No one else sees you jamming out. Bro, this is so goofy. Of course, our first Mastercraft they add in the game is an anime Mastercraft. Like right off the bat, the first one's just anime. So now let's test out just a few of the important camos on the Mastercraft. Here's Borealis, and there's pretty good coverage on this Mastercraft. You can see the camo and you can see the Mastercraft bits. Here's prices on the Mastercraft. It looks pretty good, but dude, I can't even take testing these camos seriously with this inspect. We're gonna see this every time. Here's Interstellar, and this one really fits the theme of the blueprint. And yeah, we could take off the dual wield attachment, but then we lose the tubes. And I like to see how the tubes change with the camos. Although with Interstellar, it becomes really dark and dirty in the tubes. How am I just now realizing when you inspect the weapon, you touch the mags together and there's a spark? I completely missed that the first time, but that, that's kind of cool. Uh, this camo might be my favorite combination on these Mastercrafts so far. The Ghoulie camo looks intense. Let's see if the death effects on the Mastercrafts any different than the other blueprints. So we take out an enemy. And no, it is still just the... <laughs> The giant explosion with the gift on the ground. Look at that. So pretty ridiculous. Now let's take this in zombies and see if all the tracers and effects work. Do you only have one? No! You're... Bro, there's no shot. There's no shot the Mastercraft doesn't work in zombies. All right, let me see. Do the death effects work against zombies with this blueprint? No! The tracers work against zombies, but the death effects don't. Sometimes in this game, it's just like DMZ. Sometimes the death effects on these work against zombies. Sometimes they don't, so... Ooh, I, all right, we're going to see if we can fix this Mastercraft, but right now this bundle's looking like a dud for zombies. They'll probably fix it at some point, but if you load in, uh, I just got one of these, and I definitely had the Mastercraft equipped, and I didn't change anything, and the uh, impact effects work. You can see when you shoot the ground, there's the smoke, uh, the puff of smoke, but when you kill a zombie, there's, there's, there's no effect. There's no effect. So let's see if we can do something to fix this Mastercraft. We're going to play around with the attachment, see if we can force load it in, but... Uh, Wow, the zombie section of this video just got a whole lot shorter. Maybe the death effect works against bots? Oh, it does. Okay, so it's just zombies that it doesn't work again. Okay, don't go down, Lego. Don't go down. This is a new character. We just got the one plate. So maybe it's just zombies that the death effect doesn't work on. So there's a zombie. We killed it. Nothing happened. But if we shoot a bot... Oh my god, that's so bright. That's like a neon explosion. Um, And yeah, so the whole death effect works completely fine on bots. Actually, it, it works a little bit too well. Where's another bot? Where, dude, where is this dude shooting at me? Is he underneath me? 
Oh, there they are. Okay, so let's go fairly far away. Look at how bright this death effect is in zombies. Look at that. That is insane. Honestly, it might be a good thing the death effects don't work against zombies because if it did that every time you killed a zombie, uh, you would not be able to see 95% of the time. Oh, the laser sight's got a little bit of a glitch animation. So if you hold it up close to a friend's head, you can see right here every once in a while. You know, we probably shouldn't be on a moving car while doing this. There it is. But every so often, you'll see it does a little bit of a glitch animation. That's cool, but 90% of the time, you're not going to see that. Because this is what you're seeing with the laser sight. So unless you're like point blank at a wall or point blank at a teammate, um, it, it's a cool little effect, but you're not going to notice this. Whoa! Okay, and big chopper. Wait a minute. The death effects work on hellhounds. So it doesn't work on manglers, doesn't work on zombies. Works on hellhounds. So maybe if we go in and change to the normal version of the brace. So instead of using the fancy one that comes with all the extra crap, if we just use this version, will it let us spawn in? All right, come on. Please work. Please have two. Please have two. Please have two. Ah! Now the real question is, does the inspect still work because we changed the attachment? And it definitely doesn't look as cool because the tubes are gone. But here we go. Let's see if the inspect works. And yeah, there we go. So yeah, uh, inspect works fine. You just have to change the aftermarket part. You've got to go back to the base version and doing so allows you to use this weapon and use this blueprint in zombies. Wait a minute. Now that we're in zombies, we can switch to third person so we can get a third person view of the operator skin. But what happens if we do the weapon inspect in third person? What? No zombie, you're ruining it. All right, clear out the zombies. Try this again. So yeah, uh, the weapon inspect for the Mastercraft works in third person. It's a little bit weird. You get to see the orbs up there and then the, the screen pops behind your back. But all right, even if you're a person who only plays in third person, if you inspect the weapon, you're still going to get all the cool goodness. You know, I'm kind of glad that it doesn't play this screen for everyone, that it's only for you, because if everyone else saw this screen when you popped it up, uh, it, it would get pretty annoying pretty quickly. <laughs> this looks so weird driving in the car. Okay, sick. So it looks like the inspect still works. Even if you change the attachments, you just can't change the conversion kit. You can see here we have the 100 round mag on this, which is what you want to be running on this in zombies. What It's what makes it really good. Uh, the inspect's a little bit buggy now because the magazines kind of, you know, glitch into each other. But the inspect still fully works even with the change of attachments. So one thing we need to test, but I feel like I already know the answer, is if we lose the tracers when we change our ammo type, this is how it worked in Modern Warfare 2. If you change the ammo type on the weapon and then you load it in game, uh, it wouldn't have tracers. And yep, that's exactly what happens here. So you are not able to change the ammo type on this. You have to run with no ammo type whatsoever. If you change your ammo type, uh, these Mastercrafts are going to lose the tracers. And the same thing goes for the other two weapons. If you change the ammo type, you lose the tracers. So as we showed earlier, these weapons have custom sounds when you shoot them. However, unfortunately, I think there's a large chance you might lose these sounds when you pack a punch. So we pack a punch the weapon. Here we go now. Yeah, unfortunately, you lose the sound. So uh, you're going to lose the custom blueprint sound of these weapons when you pack a punch them. You are going to keep the tracers, though. The tracers stay on the weapon. In some weapons, you do lose the tracers when you pack a punch. But uh, yeah, the bullet sound goes away, but the tracers stay. And uh, pack a punch camo looking pretty fire on this. We can go ahead and pack a punch it again, actually. Ah, pack a punch looking clean. Wait, what? It worked for a second. I don't hear it anymore. But if we inspect, it comes back. What? Yeah, it, it's just, you know, this weapon's a little bit bugged in zombies. You can't bring it in without changing the conversion kit. Uh, the death effects don't work on zombies, but they work on hellhounds. The tracer effects stay, and the bullet sounds stay when you pack a punch it, but you have to inspect every time you want to hear it again. You got to inspect and you get to hear it twice. So overall thoughts on this bundle for this being the first Mastercraft in the game. It's pretty sick. Usually the first Mastercraft we get for each game's kind of basic. Cold War's first Mastercraft was not cool at all. Vanguard's first Mastercraft was pretty garbage with the inspect. Uh, but the... Oh, no, 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 no. 
But the inspect on this weapon is, um, you know, I'll just let it speak for itself. The whole little gift that plays and the music that plays and the fact that there's different variations of the music is a really nice touch. The tracers are crazy. The death effects are crazy. It's just the, the worst part about this bundle is one, that it's not the price of a normal bundle. It's 2,800 COD points. So you're spending 28 bucks on this bundle, which is a crazy amount of money for a cosmetic. And the fact that it also is super bugged out in zombies. The death effect only works on some of the zombie types like hellhounds and bots. And you have to change the aftermarket part type to even be able to get it to load in game. So you don't even get the full version of the Mastercraft to work. You get kind of like a separate version. And I'm sure that will be fixed in the future, but uh, who knows how long it's going to take for them to fully fix this bundle in zombies. But with that, guys, let me know why you'd rank this bundle out of 10. And if you want to see more bundle reviews like this in the future, where we test out everything in MP, zombies, all the tracers and stuff, make sure to unlock that sub button. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace. Lego unlocked. He's Lego unlocked. It's going to unlock all these kids.